Let's do a couple more problems involving place value and number order. So let's say I were to give you the digits. The digits I'm giving you are 0, 4, and 5. And what I want you to do is first of all figure out all of the three digit numbers that can be produced with 0, 4, and 5. And then I want you to tell me which of those are the, are the smallest and which of those are the largest. And one thing you keep in mind is you can't have 0 as the first digit, right? Because if it's 0 as the first digit, you really don't have a three digit number. For example, the number 0, 4, 5. This really isn't a three digit number. This is just 45, which is a two digit number. So that one is not allowed. So with that said, maybe you want to pause it and try to figure out all of the ways you can construct a three digit number that doesn't start with 0 with the digits 0, 4, and 5. And you should do that right now. Well, I'm assuming that you have unpaused. So let's, let's see all of the numbers that you can do. And actually, we could do both parts of, both parts of this problem uh, simultaneously. How can we get a really large number? Well, the way we get the largest number is by putting our largest digit in the largest place value. So if this is a three digit number, we'll put it in the hundreds place. So the, the, lar the way that we construct the largest possible number, we put the largest number in the hundreds place. So we say 500. Let's put the second largest number in the tens place, 40. And then, there's put, and then we have to use the 0. So we'll put that there. So this is going to be the largest. And you'll see when we list the other ones. But it, it, I hope it makes sense why. Because this, you're putting the largest number in the hundreds and the second largest number in the tens. But let's figure out all of the other combinations uh, that we can get of these three numbers. So it could be 504, right? just switching the 4 and the 0, the 0 and the 4. We could get, or we could have switched the 4 and the 5 here. So we could get 450. Right? Or we could switch the 5 and the 0 here, and you get 405. And that's all of them. I mean, there were these, these, I guess we could call them permutations, and you haven't learned that yet, so I won't go too into it. But the other two would have been this, but these don't count because they start with a 0. So we can't count those. So we already figured out that this is the largest. And once again, we know 540 is largest, larger than 504 because 40 is larger than 4. And as you know, the logic we used when we originally solved this problem. So that's the largest. And what's the smallest? Well, I just happened to put them in, in uh, order from largest to smallest. This is the smallest. And why is that? We put the smallest possible digit in the hundreds place. And we couldn't put a 0 by, by the rule. And then after we put that there, we put the smallest possible digit that we could put in the tens place. And that was a 0, because that was allowed. And so we got 405. Let's do another similar problem. Let's say I have the digits 0, 7, 2, 8. And I'm asking you, what is the largest four-digit number that I can construct out of these four digits? And once again, the rule is. Um, that 0 can't be the first digit, although that wouldn't help you much anyway. So what's the largest number I can build here? So it's going to be a four digit number, so this is going to you know you're going to have thousands place, hundreds place, tens place, and ones place, right? So just like we talked about in that, that, that problem we did a few seconds ago, how do we construct the largest number? Well, what place value matters the most? The thousands place matters the most. Right. If we're going back to counting marbles, you care about how many of the, the buckets of thousands you have. That, those, that's where most of the marbles take place. So the thousands place matters a lot. The thousands place. Because whatever digit here, you're essentially saying that times a thousand. So you want to put the largest number there. So the largest number out of these, that's 8. So we cross that out. We use that. And then in the hundreds place, we already used the 8. You want to put the highest number that you could fit there in the hundreds. Because whatever number is here is going to be multiplied by 100. So out of these, what's the next largest number? It's 7. And then we use the same logic for the tens place. What's the next largest number there? What's going to be the 2? And then we're left with the 0. 
And if that wasn't completely obvious to you, I, I encourage you to try out all of the different ways to rearrange these numbers. And you'll see that when you put the largest number in the thousands place, because you're saying that's 8,000, right? Let's say if we, if we had switched these, then you would only had 7,800. And that would, that would have been much smaller than 8,700. Let's do a similar exercise, but now let's try to figure out the smallest digit we can form. So let's say the numbers are uh, 3, 7, 4, and 9. So what's the smallest four-digit number that I can form out of these three numbers? So let's do the places again. This is thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. So if we want to create, create the smallest, there's two ways of thinking about it. We could put the largest number in the ones place, and then the second largest in the tens, and so forth. Or we could say, let's put the smallest number in the thousands. We want the smallest number of thousands. So we can either do 3,000, 7,000, 4,000, or 9,000. Well, we want a small number, so let's do 3,000. right? That's clearly the smallest of our choices. So then we use the 3. And now we have to pick between 700, 400, or 900. So what's the smallest? Well, 700, 400, or 900? Well, sure, 400 is. We use it there. And then we want we have to pick between 70 or 90. Well, we, don't, we want to use 70 because we're looking for a small number. And then, of course, we have the 9 there. And once again, I encourage you to try, um, try, to, try to get a smaller number than what we just did. And I hope that makes sense, that when you want the smallest possible number, you want the smallest number in front of the thousands. And once you use that up, then you want the smallest number on the hundreds. Let's see if we can see some patterns between numbers. So let's say I had the number. I'm actually just going to write down the number. I'm not going to read it to you, because that might give you a. So let's say I have that number, 6342, that's the digits. And 6442. So I have two questions for you. Which number is larger? And how much larger is that number? Well, first we could just read them out. This is 6,342. This is 6,442. So we immediately see, where are these two numbers different? 6,300, 6,400. The 42's are the same. So they're different in the hundreds place. Right? If we were to, do, if we were to expand this out, this is 6,000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 2 right this number on the right is 6000 plus let me make sure i do the colors right 400 plus 40 plus 2 and so we see the only difference between the numbers it takes place in the hundreds place. Here we have 6,000 is equal to 6,000, 40 is equal to 40, 2 is equal to 2. But here we have 300 versus 400, right? So this number is clearly the larger of the two numbers. And, and how much larger is it? Well, we just have to compare the hundreds, because everything else is equal. 400 versus 300. How much larger is 400 than 300? What's well, 100 larger, right? You have to add 100. So you could write 6, 3, 4, 2, plus 100 is equal to 6, 4, 4, 2. Another way you could have looked at it without expanding it, you could have said, well, I have 300s here. I have 400s here, just looking at, at uh, the place value. So I need to get one more 100 to get to this value. So you can kind of do that mental arithmetic. You add 100 here, you would add a 1 to this digit, so you'd get 6442 or 6,442. Let's do one more like that. Let's say I had the numbers, I could read them out, 6,442, just like we had in the previous one. And let's say we have the number 6,000. 6,542. And I won't expand. Well, yeah, sure, let's expand them out. I, don't know, I won't necessarily do it in all of the different colors, but we could say this is 
6,000 plus 400, right? 400 plus 40 plus 2. This is 6,000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 2. And what's the difference here? Well, I didn't even have to expand it out to show you the difference. You have a 4 in the hundreds place here. We have a 5 in the hundreds place here. So this digit in the hundreds place is one more than this digit in the hundreds place. So essentially, to go from this entire number to that entire number, we have to increment the hundreds digit by 1, or we need 1 extra 100. So once again, the number on the right is larger, and it's larger by 100. You could also see that here when we expand it. To go from 400 to 500, you add 100. So let's see if we can use some of these insights and to, to see if we can do some quick mental math. So if I were to ask you what number, what number is 100 more than 6,442. Well, you could do this in your head. How do you think about it? Well, if I'm doing 100 more, then that means in the hundreds place, I'm going to add 1, right? Because every incremental digit in the hundreds place means 100. So essentially, to add 100 to this, I go to the hundreds place and add 1. So 6,442, we could do that in our head, plus 100 is equal to 6,000. 542. Let's see if we can do that same uh, mental math to see what, what, six, what, what number is 100 more than 6,542. So what number is, I'm running out of space, is 100 more, <laughs> that's well, a little hard to read. What number is 100 more than? 6,542. So once again, we have to, if we want to add 100 to something, we increment the hundreds digit by 1. So this is a hundreds digit, so it's 6,642. Right? Similarly, if we wanted to know what number is 1,000 more than 6,542, we would just increment the thousands digit, right? If we wanted to add 1,000, we would go to the thousands place and add 1. We get 7,542. If someone asks you what number is 10 less than 6,542, well, then you go to the tens place, and you would subtract 1 from the digit. So if you wanted to subtract 10, minus 10, it would be 6,500. And we'd decrease this digit by 1, 32. Anyway, don't want to confuse you. And I think that's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.